Hey guys. Hey guys. This is Captain Smash. So, welcome to my new digs. Um, this is where all the magic happens. Well, most of the magic. At least on the computer screen anyway. So, today I wanted to share with you um, some of my experiences in card backloading and also how to do card backloading. It's really simple. Um, basic premise of the diet. You want to skip breakfast, so you're doing a short intermittent fast in the morning. I know breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? So um, most of you that have read Kiefer's book know about this. So um, you know the first meal is really um, uh, unimportant for a variety of reasons, but mainly because your hormones are already optimizing your body to burn fat. So by skipping breakfast, you enable the body to burn a little bit more fat and um, you get your day started off to a good level. So, um, when you break the fat uh, fast for the first time after three hours, or you can prolong this for, um, for a little bit longer, I've found um, up to 16 to 24 hours even if you like, um, although I wouldn't do that all the time if you're relatively lean, but um, you wanna have fat and protein-based meals and then follow that up with a workout sometime in the afternoon. Now, I myself have a modified plan because I work out in the morning. And so I generally work out in the morning and then either I will have um, some form of like uh, fat in my coffee, like bulletproof coffee and some uh, grass-fed butter or coconut oil, um, just to kind of give me a little bit of fuel, um, but not really break my fast by stimulating an insulin rush. Um, you know, this is technically breaking the fast, but what we're looking for is non-stimulation um, of insulin to cause storage. So it's not a matter of having enough fuel, it's a matter of spiking insulin so you're not engaging any storage mechanisms within the body. All right, so then, you know, optimal, you work out in the evening, slam some heavy weights, do some high intensity interval training, that type of thing, then post-workout, you immediately start slamming some carbohydrates and some form of uh, fast-acting whey protein. So you want to spike your insulin levels up really high because this will help um, bolster protein synthesis and increase um, the amount of uh, glycogen storage that the muscles receive. The muscles already have their uh, channels basically open to shuttle nutrients into them after a heavy resistance training session. So it is optimal at that point for nutrient timing to rush carbohydrates in and these can be dirty carbs too i mean like you can eat donuts or pastries or whatever um be advised the type of foods that you eat are going to affect your performance and you're also going to feel better and glycogen loading is generally better with more of a um a starch based approach so you know you slam your protein shake with some whey protein leucine caffeine um, and some carbohydrates, um, some maltodextrin or, or D-ribose, you know, some form of simple sugar, get it started off uh, about 30 to 60 minutes post-workout, and then have another big carbohydrate and protein-based meal in the evening. So, and, and that's the basic principle of diet. Um, you're doing a little bit of intermittent fasting, you're doing a little bit of uh, uh, nutrient partitioning, and um, you're optimizing the post-workout window for enhancement of recovery with jacked up carbs and jacked up protein. It's pretty much all it is. It's very easy. Um, so, but many people that have been on this plan have had trouble dropping down below a certain percentage of body fat. And so I created a little flow chart in order to help you guys out. All right, I hope you like it. Um, if there's any commentary or any questions on it, you know, shoot me an email and I'd be happy to ask, answer things for you. I've helped a lot of people get down really lean with carb backloading while staying relatively sane on a bodybuilding diet or a physique competition diet. Um, it's really easy to do. Um, you just have to know uh, kind of what your schedule is like and how to work things into your own individual program. So give me a shout out um, at... Uh, smashfitness1267 at gmail.com and I will talk with you soon. Alright. Smash it.